Hello everyone, this is Antonio speaking. For those who know me, you know very well that numerology is my passion. I've been doing this for years and years, actually professionally since 1999. I don't know if you know what numerology is, but before I explain, which what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain it as I show it to you, as an example. We, I chose, as you can see, Donald Trump, which is someone that is quite talked about these days. So I said, why not um, do it and put it on YouTube so that people can look at it and, uh, and, I don't know, maybe learn something from it. Before I go on, I want you to please understand that I, Antonio, have no connection whatsoever with politics. I don't. I don't care. And the same goes for religion, okay? I don't have a religion, and this is why I can listen to all of them, okay? So, let's put that aside. I have no judgment or personal opinion on what I'm going to say, okay? So, you'll see that some, of the, some things may look or sound negative, and some of them may sound positive. Now, negative or positive it is the reading itself, not my opinion. Understand? So if this fellow came and see me and says, Antonio, I heard about you. I want you to do a reading for me. Here's my book. Can you read it for me? See, you, you come with your own book. You may not understand what is written, and especially the language in which it's written, but I learned that. So I'm reading the book to you. If you don't like something in your book, you can change it, like I often say, but first you need to learn how to love it. You need to love it so it goes away in peace, so it doesn't come back. Uh, and I didn't write it. I'm just reading it, okay? Perfect. So, numerology is about numbers. And don't think of numbers as, as something like... Uh, just numbers, uh, not really important. Well, because of numbers. See, I'm not even going to say that, because numbers is the essence of all things. Because of our understanding of numbers today, we get to understand DNA, uh, build smartphones, put satellites in space, because of numbers. So, please think about it. Numbers are the essence of everything. You go to the bank, you go to the supermarket, the government. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Now, uh, when we talk about numbers in a mystical, spiritual, whatever you want to call it, way, well, of course it applies to that too. It's frequency. And uh, th this is not new. It may be like uh, thought of as new, because maybe we have access uh, to it, maybe in the last hundred years, I don't know, but one thing is for sure, uh, those who had it, that uh, build tremendous success because of this knowledge, didn't want you or me to know it. This is why it was hidden behind closed doors. and. If I or anybody was talking about what I'm going to talk about today, a hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, I would be burned or beheaded because we're not allowed to have this knowledge. But today, times are different. Information is all over, a bit, a bit confused sometimes, but it is all over for those who want to you know, reach within, go deeper. All right, so what I'm going to say about this fellow, uh, I could have said it when he was born after receiving this code. Now, before I go on and begin to write, I want you to know that today technology, I just have to punch in the name and the birth date and click and get his whole chart or my old chart, any, anybody's chart. But I said, you know what? 
because this is so intimate, this is so important, because it is. Why is it important? Okay, why is the United States so important? Because they're Americans? Uh, think about it. The United States of America is so important because it was built on drops of every country. So this specific country was built out of all other countries. And whether you like it or not, it has an impact in the world, energetically speaking, because it's connected to the world. It's a bloodline. Get it? Okay, that's another story. All right, so let's go and do the code. I know that uh, perhaps many numerologists are, are, are watching this video and saying, oh, that's not how I do it. Well, that's fine. That's fine. This is how I do it. It's been uh, 17 professional years. I work in three languages. So it's not a, you see, what I'm going to tell you, it's not based on the study, on the book I read. It's based on, based on the thousands of people I had the privilege to see, meet, and consult. So if I studied this and then this was confirmed, it's a knowing, not a belief. So I'm going to share with you what I know it is. And uh, I didn't say it to you, but there's, I don't know, maybe a couple of hundred people that heard me say a couple of months back, a few months, well, not a couple, a few months back, between October last year and May this year, in various conferences I gave in Europe, I said, Donald Trump, according to his code, is going to go through a major scandal. And as we speak, that's what's happening. If you don't call that a scandal, I don't know what is a scandal, because even his own party are leaving him. Okay, let's see why. My system, I put the vowels on top, so we have a six, we have a one, we have a six, we have a three, and we have a four, five, three, four, one, eight, five. We have Two, nine, four, seven. Now, as a good and responsible numerologist, we have to check if we made any mistakes. Okay, that's good, 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 good. Perfect. Now, six and one is seven. Here we have a six. And here we have a three. As we add this across, well, we get 16, which is seven. One plus six is seven. So that's the vowels of his name. Now let's see what the consonants give. That's nine, that's six, that's seven. And here we have five. And here we have 22. And then you say, okay, Antonio, why do you put 22 instead of 4? Because 11 and 22 are double vibrations. Many numerologists like to call it master numbers. And in my practice, I traveled with that, uh, um, with that uh, definition for too long. And what I saw was master number enhances the ego. So, oh, I'm a 22, oh no, I'm a 11. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I mean at all. So I refuse to call master to anything. They're numbers, double vibrations. They have a, um, they have a unique, um, proper, personal reading to it. 
but so does everyone else, okay? So here we have seven plus five, that's 12, 12, and that's uh, 34, right? So we have a 34, which three and four is seven again. All right, let's see if I am right. Seven plus five is 12, 12 plus 22 is 34. It is very important to double check, okay? Because if you make one mistake, then you'll be talking about an orange instead of an apple. And even though they're both fruits, very different, as you know. Now, we have the total of the consonants and we have the total of the vowels. Reduce to one number or 11 or 22, if it comes to that. Now, 34, we want to know the expression, the potential, the power. Okay, 34 plus 16 is what? So we have 50, right? Which is 5. All right, we do it again. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 goes 1, 5, 50, it makes 5. Okay, so that is is name. If you are aware, or if you live or study human science, uh, spiritual, uh, you know, the science of being, uh, then you know that the name we chose, that nobody chose it for us. We chose everything. I know this may be a little, perhaps, hard to accept or understand or whatever, for those who are not in this kind or in this line of thought, in this line of consciousness. But anyway, now that I said it, you're probably going to hear that everywhere. Now, <clears throat> I would like to see what karma lessons does this fellow have in this lifetime. Now, the karma lessons are the numbers missing in the letters of one's name. Okay, so he has a one. He has a 2, he has a 3, he has a 4, he has a 5, he has a 6, 7, 8, 9. So he's got all the numbers. So in this specific lifetime, Donald put no karma lessons. Okay? That doesn't mean he's an old soul. It just means that, you know what, I have so much in my plate, I'm not going to put any karma lessons or any specific lessons for, for me to learn in this lifetime. Okay. Now, this is his birth date, 14 June 1946. Under the 14, we put a 5, okay? Under the 6, we put a 6. Under 1946, which is 1 plus 9 plus 4, is 20, 20, 2 plus 0 gives 2, right? Got it? And we are supposed to add this across. And we have what? Oh, 13 that makes four. Okay, so I call this destiny. It's destiny. Who he is in this lifetime and what is uh, attached to that which he is in this lifetime. Some numerologists call the destiny number to the, the one I call expression, the potential. Others call this the life path, whatever you want to call it. You know, in the end, we're all right, uh, because we're going to talk about the same information, the same interpretation, the same definition, okay? Now, um, of course, I'm not giving you a course, but I, I really wanted you to feel uh, how a code is built and dissected. Uh, 5 plus 6 is 11, okay? 5 plus 2 is 7, 11 plus 7 is 9, because it's 18, 18, 1 plus 8 is 9, get it? And 6 plus 2 is 8. Now, uh, 6 minus 5 is 1, 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 minus, minus 1 is 2, and 6 minus 2 is 4, okay? Here. Now, this pinnacle 
and this challenge is going to last from 0 to 32 years of age. The second pinnacle and second challenge is going to last between 32 and 41. And the other one from 41 to 50. And the last one from 50 to the end of time. Now, is destiny is a 13-4. It is very important to put 13-4. His personality, the day of his birth, is a 14-5. 14, 14-5. 14, his expression potential is a 55. So 50 slash 5. His motivation, his memory, what drives him is a 16-7. 16-7. And this inner desires or his outer personality is a 34-7. 34-7. Now, we know he's 70, so he's in his last pinnacle and last challenge. So we're going to put here 70 years of age. His first period of life was his month of birth. So that's over here, that's his first period of life. This would be his second, and that's his third. So what do we have here? Uh, he, being 70, is in the last pinnacle and last challenge, but also the last period of life, which is a two. Now, let's see in the grid of Pythagoras, how many lines does he have, empty or full? We extract the information from the birth date. So we have a 1, 4, 6, 9, because these repeat themselves. So 1, 4, 6, 9, so he's got these numbers. So we go 1, 4, 6, 9. So he's got this one empty, and he's got this one empty. They're empty. Of course, I'm going to do the reading afterwards. So, he is right now in which personal year? So we revolve around cycles of nine years. One to nine, one to nine, one to nine. Right now, he's... He was born the 14th, so that never changes. He's always, uh, he always celebrates on the 14th of June. That never changes. But he's in 2016 right now. So here we have 5, 11, 12, 13, 14, 20. So 20 is a 2. So his personal year is a 2. All right. <clears throat> then let's go to the reading. For those who know numerology, you know that 13, 14, okay, 13, 14, 16 are karma numbers out of the four possible ones. Uh, 13, 14, 16, 19. He doesn't have the 19, but he's got three others. That is his destiny. What does that mean? That means that in previous lives, he was not responsible, he didn't do his work, kind of pushed it away to others. In this lifetime, uh, work comes from all, from everywhere, all over the place, and responsibilities. Now, we, we have a dilemma here, or he has a dilemma here, because the karma number 145 which is his personality, that's what he shows, and this is why he's so impulsive, and he says whatever, really not thought or reflected, as you know. Um, of course, if he ever sees this video, he may want to consider the information and do huge changes in his life, because I know what's going to happen. I've seen it before. It's all over the place. It is automatic. Automatic. Okay? Now, the 13-4 uh, uh, 
It's all about responsibility. It's all about building, working, building, working. The, the 14.5, it's about the responsibility. So in previous lives, somewhere down a corridor of time, he abused this power. And sexuality was uh, part, of the uh, part of the abuse, which created instability in couples' lives. Guess what? As far as I know, he was married three times. And aside from that, uh, God knows what, okay? So he is, whether he likes it or not, living uh, instability at the couple level. Now, there's a, there's a dilemma, because the 14.5 is irresponsible, the 13.4 wants to be too responsible. Uh, oof. But that's not all. Now, this fellow has a lot of energy 7. Now, 7 is the mystic, 7 is the intellect, the intelligence, sees beyond. Because it's a 16, it's karmic. So, in other words, he sees, he knows, he is right in what he sees and what he knows, but he has no clue how to use it. So, instead of building with it, he may screw up because it's karmic. And when the seven is vibrating at the negative level, what do you have? Arrogance. Looking at others from above. You're little. I'm big. Well, when you put these three karma numbers together, you have someone who is extremely stubborn, extremely stubborn, knows it all, he knows it all, and then he's very impulsive at transmitting it. Very impulsive. It's like, it's like a machine gun. That's costly. See, I don't know his personal life, but I'm sure if he ever saw this video, he could connect to the information. What you need is a rotor in your boat because your boat is very strong. You've got a lot of, uh, uh, I mean, your, your, your tank is full of gas. It's, it's, everything is like wonderful, huge, big, but no rotor. Can you imagine a boat with no rotor? Okay, now, <clears throat> the seven is also a very spiritual number. Actually, seven, when you do have a seven in your life code, that means that you came here to learn, understand, discover spirituality. Again, it has nothing to do with religion. Spirituality, like Wayne Dyer used to say, the real spirituality is one that unites people, not one that separates people. Okay? So, because he is far from spirituality, what do you think is going to happen to the karmic numbers? Example. Look at the karma number as a, uh, a debt you have with the bank. And you decided to come and pay the bank. But instead of paying the bank, you're loaning more. You're asking the bank to loan you more. It gets to a point that you cannot pay. So you do the reverse. Now, what I'm trying to say to you, and this is what my experience confirms with the karmic numbers, is that you have no tolerance. It gets to a point in your journey where everything goes downhill and you lose everything. And when I say everything, it's everything. Money, status, power, relationships and even a good relationship with yourself. I, from a numerologist, numerology and numerologist 
standpoint, I can tell you that this individual is moving towards self-destruction. Okay? That is guaranteed. Because seven is what motivates him. That's what motivates him. He's motivated by high intellect, by, the, by spirituality, by uniting people. And believe it or not, he wants that. But he is so mixed up internally. Because obviously he didn't learn this. He doesn't know it. So it's very hard to travel uh, to a place you don't know where you want to go. 7-7. Seven, seven. And his age is 70. 70 is 7. So 7 is openness. Truth. So you either live by the truth or truth will embark and make you live the truth one thing is for sure and this you know the highest skeptical cannot argue whatever you do whatever you acquire whatever you have in this lifetime uh, doesn't go with you even your physical body stays behind. So what do you take with you to the other side? That which you have become. The memories of what you lived, what you touched. Why I'm saying this? Because at one point in our journey, if you don't, if we don't do what our plan and mission says, because we wrote it, uh, then we abort. We, not the Antonio, this head, this body, but the spirit aborts. And before aborting, there's going to be signs, losses, and so on. Um, is highly sensitive even though that's not what he shows see his third and last period is a two and two is very sensitive it's all about union now i am ready to say that this man has a good heart it's in his code he does have a good heart but because of frustration and because of looking at people and uh, is he not accepting certain things in his life makes him react the other way so instead of uniting because he always has that in his being he's going to unite those who are around him and respect him and are willing to work with him and so you either are with me or you against me that's him now, being the president of a superpower that is composed of drops of every single country of this world, uh, you can't make decisions upon your feelings, your personal feelings. You can't. And we all know that. And you can't make impulsive decisions. That red button that could make whatever explode. I'm sorry, but you can do that. You can do that. The outcome will be devastating for everyone, including you. Okay? So we have uh, someone very interesting here. Uh, you can say, uh, you, you can call them names and you can call them whatever. I mean, you can do whatever you choose to do. But from where I'm standing, because I'm a sponge, I want to learn. I want to understand. Because that's what I'm going to bring with me to the other side. So 
individuals like this are for me a source of learning, understanding. But that's not all. If he appeared in our society, and if, if he is stirring society around the world, I mean, think about it. If he is stirring society around the world, it is maybe because we need that. Maybe we were too focused on the illusion of I don't know what. Maybe we need these beings to, hey, wake up, because this can happen. Oh. So, you know, whatever is, is meant to be. That's my philosophy. So let me see what it's trying to teach me or telling me. In life, you always learn. You learn what to do and you learn what not to do. But you're always learning. I mean, Tony Robbins used to say, you can fail. It is impossible to fail. Why? Because no matter what you do, you always produce a result. And the result, in my view, brings me expansion. Well, I know more now because of the result. So, bottom line, Mr. Trump, if you don't get your spirituality aligned, straight, you are a goner. Trust me. It is frequency. It's vibration. There's nothing anyone can do. Only you can do it. Okay? If you were to turn this into positive, well, guess what? We have someone with a high intellect that was born on 11. That was his first pinnacle from 0 to 32 years of age. And then, guess what? A 7 again from 32 to 41 years of age. And then a 9 from 41 to 50 years of age. You know what, that's, you know what this is? 11, 7, 9? That is the three vibrations or frequencies, whatever you want to call it, numbers that speak about spirituality the high knowledge, the wisdom. Well, where did you use it? Where did you use it? If you use it to make money and wealth, you can, but you will suffer losses too. And again, go back to what I said earlier, because at one point, everything will be taken away from you so that you touch your spirituality. Okay? Um, so that's it, that's it, uh, I just want to come back here, this 258 empty just enhances his third and last period of life, which is very sensitive, and very sensitive doesn't mean always, it could mean that too, that is so nice, no, you see, let's say you fell and you really scratched your knee or your hand or whatever, becomes very sensitive and when you touch it, what happens yeah you react in the wrong way get it okay so that's not really really good and three five seven empty so this man has no clear understanding of that which is behind the apple seed the divine spirituality the source. Example, an apple seed is very small, as you know. But before it was small, it was smaller and smaller and smaller, and then there was no form. Just the frequency. That's a fact. Let's go back to the apple seed now, and now let's go to the other side. It will become a little plant that grow into an apple tree, which will give many apples, many seeds capable of putting more apple trees on this earth than the earth itself can take. Hmm. So let's understand where does that come from. There's got to be a source. There's got to be an energy. Something magical. And that's what we are about. Okay? Well, I'm not going to go any further. 
because I don't want to get you bored. But I said this morning, you know what? Let me let me put this out there. You never know where it may go. And the difference it may have. Who knows? Maybe even in me. Okay. So this is a code, a chart of a being. This is my system that I put together from extracts of others and I call it intuitive numerology coaching. Why? Because there's an intuitive way to read this, numerology itself, and then the coaching, holistic coaching, which is coaching based on the person's code. If I'm talking to an apple, I will talk to the apple knowing that it's an apple, not an orange or a pineapple. Get it? So that's, that's it. I thank you very much for the time you spent watching this video. I hope you get a clear idea. And uh, yes, if it doesn't make a change, uh, it will be scandal after scandal and he will self-destruct. And when someone self-destructs, it's never good for us because we're all somewhat connected, right? So, this isn't Tony speaking. Thank you very much for listening to my words. So long.